Uh, let's take a look at uh, adding a new material to uh, router CAD or router CAM. Uh, we're going to go to nesting. In nest, <clears throat> there are several ways, but I want to go here. There are several ways to go to the material, but let's go here. Uh, let's create a new material that we're going to use for uh, creating a new tool and just kind of showing you the whole process from start to finish. Uh, I want to create this new material and I want to create under solid color colors. These all come preloaded with the program, so I'm just going to choose solid colors. Let's say new. And um, I want to call this a, uh, we're going to make a phenolic resin uh, table. So what I want to do first is create the material. So I'm just going to name the material uh, phenolic uh, resin. And I'm just going to click OK here. And I'm, I'm going to tell it to go ahead and clear the current settings just because I want to show you how to put the current settings in there. I'm going to say yes. So it basically zeroes out all this stuff here. Okay, I want the X link, that's the uh, length across. Let's say I want that to be uh, 49 inches. <clears throat> Let's say the Y is uh, 97. Now on this phenolic resin, let's say we're going to do the uh, materials for like a lab table or something like that. Let's make this one well, inch and a half thick. I can put the weight in here. Let's say that weighs, uh, let's say it weighs 180 pounds. Phenolic resin is pretty heavy. Or, uh, and I, I can also put the cost and stuff in these fields, but this is okay for, the, for what we're doing right here. Uh, and I can choose the color by going to Browse. Uh, Auto cabinets, or AutoCAD comes pre-installed with uh, colors uh, in the uh, textures folder. So I'm just going to choose the dark gray and select OK there. So there's going to be the color when it's displayed. Uh, the layer name and the fill color here, we'll go ahead and make that uh, like the dark gray as well. Uh, so once I've got uh, my fields entered in here, now if I was doing this, if I was going to build a, a cabinet, an AutoCAD stuff, I would want to go ahead and put a cost in here. So let's just say uh, a cost per square foot on this is, uh, you know, $15. The more information you put here when you're first defining the material, the better off you are down the road. So it's saying my sheet cost is $495.10. Uh, and it is rotatable because I won't be able to put anything on there I want. So I'm just going to select uh, Save the Data. Uh, and click OK. That's all that's involved in creating a new material uh, for uh, router cam or auto cabinets to use in the program. Uh, thank you very much for your time and we'll continue this uh, series of lessons. We're going to show how to create toolings and shape using those materials uh, as well. Uh, thank you for your time.